Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. Some crime novels have woven together past and present crimes so that as you read the novel, you learn about both, and that can be a really effective approach to storytelling. Let's take a look at a past and present length novel today and turn the spotlight on Patricia Gibney's The Missing Ones. The story begins as Detective Inspector Lottie Parker and Detective Sergeant Mark Boyd are called to the scene of a murder. The body of Susan Sullivan has been discovered in a cathedral in the small Irish town of Ragmalin. The team is just beginning to do its work when Susan Sullivan's boss, James Brown, is murdered. Now the case becomes more complex. Other than the fact that they work together, the two seemingly had nothing in common. They weren't involved romantically and didn't seem to be friends. However, the investigation team interviewed Brown shortly before he was murdered, so there's definitely some connection between the two murders. Then there's another murder. Little by little, the team establishes that the murderers could likely have something to do with St. Angela's, which was a home for so-called wayward children. Almost immediately, Parker and her team run into obstacles. The local parish authorities are not willing to help. In fact, Parker is told in no uncertain terms to stop asking questions. It doesn't help matters that her boss plays golf with the bishop, so there's relationships going on behind the scene. The team finds links between the victims and a few local business leaders and council authorities, but they too are not helpful. And the more questions Parker asks, the less helpful people become. Still, Parker, Boyd, and their team keep searching for evidence, and little by little, they find that the present-day murders are connected to past harrowing tragedies at St. Angela's. The more the team learns about what happens, the clearer it is that those old sins cast very long shadows, and that someone is still out there trying to keep the truth hidden. In the end, dark, horribly ugly secrets are uncovered, and some of them touch Parker's own family. So what are the elements in this novel? What holds it together and keeps it going? Well, first I should say that this is not an easy read. The, the horrors uncovered in the investigation are truly awful and upsetting. Readers who are looking for a later read should know that this isn't one. The story is told in two timelines. One is in the present, and the other is in the late 1970s. As the novel goes on, we follow both timelines and we learn what really happened and how it led to the murders that Parker's team is investigating. In keeping with the tone, the story doesn't have the sort of ending where everything is put right in the end. Lives are shattered, bonds are deeply, deeply shaken, and more. And although we learn the truth about the murders, there are some unsettled issues. Readers who prefer everything to be fixed in the end will notice this. Much of the story is told from Parker's point of view, third person, past tense. So we learn about her. She's a widow who three years after her husband Adam's death still grieves his loss. She has three teenage children and that, as you can imagine, makes it a difficult job trying to be there for them combined with her work. She also has some dark ghosts from her own past to contend with. Parker is far from perfect, but it's fair to say that she doesn't rush for the first needle or bottle that she can find to cope. She works well with her team most of the time, and it's clear that she and her children love each other. This is a police procedural, so another important element in the story is the work that the police do to gather and make sense of evidence, interview suspects and witnesses, and so on. We follow along as the team gets and interprets lab results, fingerprints, and so on. The Missing Ones is the tragic story of how awful incidents from the past can still impact people. It features a distinctive Irish setting, a dark set of secrets to be uncovered, and a detective inspector who has to cope with her own challenges as she digs into the past. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.